दक्षिणामूर्ति इज ट्वेंटी टू आपके पास पुस्तक है कि नहीं है मीरा पीड़े आप लोगों के पास पुस्तक है I don't know where it is published. Uh, it's okay. It's nineteen twenty-eight. Vani Vilas Mudranalaya. Okay, Vani Vilas. Okay. Vani Vilas. Sri Ram. Now, Sri Rangam Tamil Nadu. Ah, Sri Rangam Vani Vilas Mudranalaya. That is the same PDF we all are having. Okay. So, Atha Avar and Shakti Kadi. Have you found the line? Yes. All right. आत्मज्ञानीश्वर and the enlightened one the knower of the self these are the two two places over which the avarna shakti does not have any grip vihaya leaving them excluding them sarvesham jeevana rest of all the jeevas whether they are the heavenly gods or they are just anybody as ordinary as you and me or they could be even the animals worms insects and birds could be anyone all what is the problem with it pan sarvesham jeevana panchakosha nam atmascha bhedam avarna shakti hi andakkar eva avrnoti just as the darkness covers the objects and conceals the objects you know this is the quality of darkness that it conceals the object like that what is it that gets concealed because of avarna shakti is the 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 bheda bheda means the difference and for some for the difference to be there you need two factors which are separate different from each other panchakoshanam so the panchakoshas we have seen what are the panchakoshas at least you know the names annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha vijnanamaya kosha and manomaya kosha so ah विज्ञानमय कोश है ना आनंदमय कोश तो दिस आर दी फाइव शीट्स एंड दे आर शीट्स बिकॉज़ लाइक अ ककून दे कवर द रियलिटी सो भेदम सो दिस इज द द द द द कैटरपिलर इन द ककून इज नॉट अ ककून कैटरपिलर इज डेफिनेटली डिफरेंट द स्वॉर्ड इन द स्कबार इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द स्कबार लाइक दैट i residing over here which is discovered in this body in the mind the pranas in the indriyas everywhere this i is found everywhere but he is still different from all these so the difference between the panchakoshas and the self is as if covered up there is a difference but because of this avarna shakti this difference is not seen uh, how do, how how does it conceal not by putting some conceal uh, concealer how does it conceal 
अंधकार लाइक दार्कनेस सो आत्मा एंड अनात्मा whether it is the body whether it is the pranas whether it is the mind whether it is the buddhi or whether it is the anandamaya kosha all these are anatma vastu but what happens though they are anatma i am a man i am a woman identified with the body correct i am feeling weak i am feeling energetic i am feeling very very uh what do they call you know uh, geared up what is all this you are talking about the pranas you are talking about the pranas pran is the drishya vastu atma i am the drashta but the drishya only is understood as the drashta so what is happening anatma only is taken as atma hence the person is one is not able to see the difference you know even the ego is that what i am ego is i am not even the ego even the unmanifest anandamaya karana sharira that also is not me so what is the nature of this i not manifest not even unmanifest not even subtle manifest what is this i the very substratum of of unmanifest subtle manifest and of the manifest i will able through all these but not the same no okay. this is what the time still one is not able to appreciate this difference and because one is not able to appreciate this difference then comes one uh, the person saying i am the karta i am gopta i am the doer i am the experiencer i am good i am bad i am bad i am human i am young i am old i am i am weak i am strong so on and so forth i am sad i am happy i am delighted i am depressed all these things come and everything that you are saying about i is nothing but a complex when you consider i am the body then i should not become old you know i should look beautiful and i should always look attractive that's <laughs> so that's why eat chavan prash hey you remember there was this advertisement of chavan prash 60 saal ke buthe ke 60 saal ke jawan oh jawan oh oh uh, what are you talking are bhai you are just talking only about the body as i and this is the complex and let somebody then say oh oh you know you have started aging and this person is furious what me and aging are tu buddha tera khandan buddha i i am so no you, you people you say complex then comes the complex also the person may not say so really am i becoming old or what i should not become old i should not look old i may be old but people should not call me old and then you have all the various complexes sitting then very well i may be bad but people should call me a good natured person right <laughs> all these complexes are there centered on because of not knowing the difference between the self and the non self atma and anatma so what happens due to this avarana shakti that this avarana shakti conceals hides the difference between atma and anatma but for all everybody in this world is like this there are just two places where this avarna shakti is not able to spread its its delusion what is that only ishwara and atmajnani atmajnani nam vihaya ha only these are the two places 
Now, if you want to save yourself from this, Avarana Shakti, where should you go? Not to your neighbor. Uh, you know, tell me, do I look old? No, obviously, your neighbor is also having going to have fun at your expense. Uh, not at all. You look just 16 and a half years. Mm. So what even if you are wearing dentures? Uh, your dentures can be 20 years old. But you look 16 and a half. Do you remember there used to be this one story in our school days? So there was this one king and he was fond of wearing new, new dresses every day. And he would parade himself in his, in his kingdom, you know, showing off the new dress every evening. There used to be this show. So people now thought that what to do? Somehow, and when person is possessed with any, any such idea, then he can, he fools himself. You don't require anybody else to fool you. You are capable of fooling yourself. So the, there, were, there were these two tailors. They came to the king and they said, we have got such a fine cloth, such a fine cloth, that it is transparent. How is it? Transparent, totally transparent. So, and you know, even if you touch it, you can't feel it. It is that kind of a cloth. So they come to the king. The king says, then you should stitch me a gown of that. That cloth only. It is very, very expensive. And the king says, does not matter. I will give you money, but I want only that cloth. It's a special cloth. Ah, Mira, Mira, you remember the story? Raja Sapushat? Emperor's cloth. Ah, Emperor's cloth. And then, actually, these people had fooled him. There was no cloth. <laughs> Look at this cloth. So fine. So nice. Hey, where is the if they is there? And then they stitched a gown out of it. And the king is standing naked. And then they put the gown on him. And he is taken out in the village, in that whole town. That fellow, hey, he thinks he is wearing some cloth. Very cloth. What cloth? This is Gajanan Maharaj walking. Yeah. And so, like that. So now you have your, and people are going to mock you. That is what is every complex. Sarvesham, everyone. You want to be called as good. And when you want to be called as good, then you are going to find people who are going to make fun of you because, because they know what is your weakness. <laughs> Everything. Sarvesham, Jivanam, Panchakosha. We are, but only two places. So where should you go when you are tortured? Is Ishwara and Atmosya. So Vihaya Nesh, Ishwaram Matmajani Namcha Vihaya, Anyesham Sarvesham Jivanam. What happens? Panchakoshanam Atmanascha Bheda. What is that that gets covered? The Bheda. What Bheda? What is the difference that, that is covered? And the Bheda is not, you are not allowed to see the Bheda. Which Bheda? Atma and Anatma. What do you mean by that? Anatma means the Panchakoshas over here and Atma means the Atma. That is getting, that gets covered. Avaranam Andakara Shakti Vapranoti Like Avarana uh, Shakti He Andakara He Avarana Like the darkness it envelops and covers doesn't allow you to see. Avaranam Chadvividham. Now, furthermore, this Avaranam is twofold. Even the concealment is of twofold. What is it? Look at it. Asatva Avaranam, Abhana Avaranam. Avaranam, 
Asatva. Asatva means denial of existence. Asatva. And Abhana means not experienced. Cannot be experienced because you think it is not existing. And even if you know it is existing, you cannot experience it. And therefore, you sometimes even conclude, because I cannot experience it, perhaps it is not existent. Uh, so now you see, this is what is it. It is the karyam of our shakti. How does it? So now, shakti cannot be directly known. You know the shakti through the effect. Correct? How do you know the Shakti? Do you know what, how much capacity I have? Only when you watch me lifting 10, 20, 30 cages, then you will say, well, this person has the capacity, the power to lift 20 cages, 30 cages. Correct? So how were you able to know that I have the power of lifting 20 cages? When you saw the effect. So Shakti will be understood, will be known only through the effect. When you are saying it is Avarana Shakti and this Avarana Shakti is again twofold, Asatva Avarana and Abhana Avarana, then, then how does this Shakti, how will you know? Unless and until there is some Karyam, the effect, it should show. What is the effect? It says, Vastu Nastiti Vyavahara Karanam Asatva Varanam. Now you see, this Atma is Brahman. Do you know this Atma is Brahman? Oh no, Atma is what Brahman and all. I am this person. Born to such and such parents, such and such. I am doing this, I am doing that. So I am all these things. So what is your claim? Your, you don't directly say Brahman does not exist. When you deny Atma is Brahman, you have denied Ishwara himself. Ah, vastu nasti. That Atma, reality about Atma is not there. As complete as Puranam. Vastu nasti ti vyavahara karanam. And what is it that is, what is the reason, what is the cause of such Vyavahara of yours for such transaction of yours. It is the Asatva Varanam. Nasti Vastu Nasti. It is making you say Vastu Nasti. Aham na Brahma. Aham na Brahma. Then what is this Aham? This aham can be body, this aham can be the energy, this aham can be the psychological structure, or this aham, this I can be something that is unmanifest, but this I is not Brahman. Got it? So you are saying this means what? Not Brahman means Vastu Nasti is not there. Hey, you are calling Atma as Brahman. All these are, this is Hamba. These are all concepts, hypothesis. Who is saying, you say the same thing, Vastu Nasti, in different ways. Oh, so what? I am after all a human being now. What am I? I am after all a human being. Yeah. Daritra only. So I will get angry. So somebody comes and tells you, hey, you are learning Vedanta and all. You should not get angry. Then what do you say? Or you get even more angry when somebody tells you that. If you say you are very spiritual, then why are you getting angry? But you tell me out of these two people, who is correct and who is wrong? The person who says that you are still following spirituality, that's why you should not get angry. Is he wrong? 
then what do you say you say hey so what sometimes i am also person na i am also normal human being na what are you talking about this i to be some human being correct some human being in in and saying that i am a human being and poor little human being farmer and all that what are you saying na ham brahma what have you said na ham brahma look at that <laughs> na ham brahma you are saying so you have different ways it is just not some atheist and all who is who who is covered with this avarna shakti asatva avarnam you see one every one of us is a victim of this avarna shakti that's why you are saying na hoga brahma tum hoga tum honge brahma and there are different ways then this fellow comes and says you know not me but our guru is brahma guru sakshat par brahma not me guru only is brahma then what are you i don't ask i am like this only i am here means daridra only i so you see vastu nasti you say it in so many different ways all that you are saying is just one thing vastu nasti you see kon kon hai yahan pe start karne ke liye aaj aha check that me okay Pay attention to how all all that one is saying about oneself, and you will discover that we are saying nothing else. But we are iterating, we are iterating only one thing, and that is avarna shakti karyam, asatva avarnam, and abhana. When you are saying I am a human being, I am a simple person, I am a seeker, I am this, I am that. But in saying all these things, I am constantly denying that this Atma is Brahman. And by saying Atma is is not is not Brahman means was to nasty. Was to nasty the cover. Was to na bhati. व्यवहार कारण अभानाटिफाइड सो So it must be true. So you say, well, Guru Maharaj says Atma is Brahman, so Atma must be Brahman. Really, Atma is Brahman. Atma must be Brahman, but I don't experience. I just, you know, Sat Satvachan Guruji, Satvachan. You have to see people coming from Punjab. You say anything in there, even before I finish the sentence there. सत्वचन गुरुजी सत्वचन सत्वचन यू यू से आई डोंट एक्सपीरियंस आई एम ब्रह्मन देन व्हाट इज योर एक्सपीरियंस माय एक्सपीरियंस दैट आई एम अ जीव इवन इफ दिस आर ब्रह्मन इज देयर आत्मा इज ब्रह्मन बट आई डोंट नो एंड दैट्स व्हाई even after studying for 20 years of vedanta shastra then this fellow comes and says 
uh, you know, I cannot experience I am Brahman. That's why I want to go to Kundalini. You know, now I change the life. Then I want to go to some, uh, you know, Coimbatore and watch some circus. Well, then. Now and then, between all the festivals and all, a lot of circuses there in Coimbatore. And then, Vastu Nabhati. Vastu <laughs> Nabhati. Nabhati means cannot experience Brahman. Iti Vyavahara Karanam. The, the cause for you to say this is Abhana Avaranam. So how many types how many types of avaranas have you discovered? Two. Asatva avaranam and Bana Avaranam. Vastu Nasti is what avaranam? Abhana Avaranam. Aha. Thank you very much. Asatva Avaranam. <laughs> All of them unanimously. <laughs> if this was democracy, then what is written will be wrong because more, more number of people said that this is Abhana Avaran. Uh -huh. Vastu Nasti is what kind of Avaran? And what is the is that a Satva Avaranam or Abhana Avaranam or is it the Karyam of these Avaranams? This Vyavahara, Karyam. your claim that was too nasty. This Vyavahara. What is the cause of this Vyavahara? This Vyavahara is called as Avaranam or is the uh, Avaranam the cause of this Vyavahara? Avaranam, Avaranam is cause, cause of this Vyavahara. Ah, so what is Abhana Avaranam? Was to Nabhati ti Vyavahara Karanam And what is a sattva avaranam? Vastuno asti iti vyavahara karanam. Very good. Dhanyavad. Avarana shakti karyam eva samsara brakshasya moolam. Now, what samsara braksha means? Now, the samsara is seen as the braksha. Braksha meaning a, a, a tree. Tree. A tree. So, so... And the samsara is nothing but dukkha and dukkha and dukkha and dukkha and dukkha. Less dukkha and more dukkha, that is the only choice. What is the choice? Less dukkha and more dukkha. That is the only choice, nothing more. This is the whole samsara. And what are we expecting? That one day this samsara will give me absolute sukham. Full. Ah, uh, what absolute sukham? You are made absolute fool uh, of yourself. No. Expecting this samsara. And that's why, you know, now, now this samsara is seen as vriksha. Can you, can you do anything about the vriksha? Can you uproot a vriksha? Take it and shake it. And, uh, Sometimes we have this gang of monkeys that comes over here. If you have ever observed how monkeys, what monkeys do. These monkeys come. And then, when they want to display their power to their opponent, 
they will take that branch or something, the pole, and they will shake it, shake it, shake it, like that. So, so now this, and you are also on this, like a monkey on this samsara vriksha. <laughs> but you are trying to shake it and show the world how strong you are, how big you are. But nothing, nobody is bothered about how strong and big you are. Ah, uh, nobody is really bothered. But I want to show this world what I am. Are you tomorrow? You say, "Ah, ke gay satra sukhtas." No difference to the. It has made no difference to the world. Ah, uh, even the avatars have come and gone. Everybody continues. Is not it? Mirarai, you remember this uh, these words of uh, Ramdas Swami? Are ekatyaacha Ashokavahe akasmat tohi pude jata hai. Ah, Samarth Ramdas Swami says, Mare ekatyaacha duja Ashokavahe means uh, you know you cry for a person who has died. And unknowingly, this fellow is also going in the same direction. Mare Katyata Duza Shokavahe Akasmata Tohi. You know, you, you cry for that fellow. But that is you, you are not sitting back, back. You are also going to the same place. One day, one traveler was going through some village, strange, stranger. He had not seen that place before. And it was the time for sunset. And so it was already becoming dark. And so he wanted to go into the village, in the settlement, before, before that, uh, uh, that it became dark. So there he found one person sitting on a uh, fork of a road. Uh, on that fork. And he asked, out of these two, which road goes to the settlement? Well, so he says, there are these two roads. In one, there are some people staying, but they don't stay there permanently. This road, other road goes to a place where people stay permanently. So he said, I'll go there only. I want to reach. So when he went over there, he found a graveyard. So this, he got very angry and he came back. This, this fellow was still sitting under the tree. And so he asked, why did you send me to the graveyard? Are you crazy at night time and dark it is already? You're sending me to graveyard. He said, you only asked, you wanted to go where people stay permanently. And the other place, you know, this town and all village, people are staying there, you know, temporarily. They are also waiting to go their own place. Yeah, waiting to reach that place only. Mare ekatyaza duza shokavahe akasmata tohi. Though he is crying, oh, he died, she died, everybody. But he is also going to the same place. Tohi pude zata. This samsara is this place of misery. Then what happens? We are saying, he, the author says, Avarna Shakti Karyameva. Now, both of these are the effects of the power of concealment. What are, what are the effects of power of concealment? Vastu Nasti and Vastu Nabhati. This is the reality of the self. Denied. No, sir. This I cannot be Brahman. Then what is this I? I am a man. I am woman. I am good. I am beautiful, ugly, so and so forth. And every kind of complex that you sit on, you carry. This is that karyam. Avarana Shakti karyam. Then another Shakti, Avarana Shakti karyam is, even if I may be Brahman, but I cannot experience. What, are, what am I experiencing? <laughs> that I am the experiencer. I am the 
do a, I, I do certain good things, I do wrong things, and as a consequence, I suffer and I enjoy. You see? Aham karta, aham dhokta is what you are saying. But this aham is Brahman. Maybe even if it is Brahman, I cannot experience it. And therefore, this avarana shakti karyam, this karyam is the mulam, is the root. This karyam, both, both these things, vastu nasti and vastu nabhati. Somebody is going to some problem. Vastu nasti and vastu nabhati. Both these things is the root of the samsara. Root of the samsara bhakti. Now you get onto the samsara bhakti and do whatever you want, even if you want to prove that you are Alexander the Great. At the end, even Alexander said, carry my dead body like this. You know the story. When he was dying, people asked him that, uh, sir, what is your last wish? He had a very strange wish. He said, when you are going to carry me, my dead body, carry it naked <coughs> and keep my fists open. So people said, what? Uh, an emperor and emperors, uh, you know, the, uh, this procession, funeral procession is one uh, big deal. <coughs> The emperor should be draped in all silk and gold and silver and gems. And you are asking that you should be carried naked. What is this? He said, I want the world to know that even an emperor dies like this. He cannot carry anything, not even a single thread on him. <coughs> and though his hands were holding the sword and the power over the world, Today it is all empty. He came empty and he's going empty. He came naked and he's going back naked. <coughs> nothing, nothing. So even if you want to prove to the world that how great you are, <laughs> nobody is really bothered. This samsara viksha, you are sitting on it. And what is the what is the root of this samsara viksha? What is the cause? Avarana Shakti Karyam becomes the Karanam. Karyam becomes the Karanam. Hetu. Navikshepa Shakti Karyam. Remember, what is Samsara's cause? What is the cause of Samsara? Avarana Shakti Karyam. Avarana Shakti. Is the Vikshepa Shakti Karyam the cause? No. 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 And therefore, to be free you from to samsara, away. what freedom do you need? Do you need to finish this world or you simply need to finish the avarana shakti? Avarana. Finish to avarana shakti. Avarana, the power of concealment. That's all. And therefore, Ishwara and Brahmajnani does not have samsara because they do not have the avarana. They are not overpowered by this power of concealment. In fact, they do not have it. Another thing that happens with Ishwara and Brahmajnani is so you can find an enlightened man, man, woman, whosoever, whoever is enlightened, is enlightened, it's finished. It's not a man or a woman. So, and you can see them very much in this world. And yet, there is no samsara for them, but samsara is there for you and me. Got it? That's why Avarana Shakti Karya Meva Samsara Bhiksha Simulam Navikshepa Shakti Karyam Etan Moksha Siddherapi 
Ketuhu. In fact, this Vikshepa Shakti is not bad because in this Vikshepa Shakti alone, there is Guru's body. In this Vikshepa Shakti alone, the Guru is able to talk to you. In this Vikshepa Shakti alone, then you have the Shastra. So, the Shastra, the Guru and the Upadesha of the Guru, which is also the part of the Vikshepa Shakti, is not that the Karanam of Moksha. And that's why Etan yes. Moksha Siddhairapi Hetu. Etan means what? Who is the Moksha Siddhi Hetu? Vikshepa Shakti. Guru and Shastra. And what is the... Ah, what is the Karanam for ban uh, of bondage? Avrana Shakti. Avrana Shakti. Shakti is the karan cause for bondage. bondage. And therefore, when you want to be free from the bondage, where should you work? Avrana Shakti. Ah, Okay. Okay. Now is the topic... As how does this Vikshepa Shakti or Vikshepa, not how, <laughs> how does this Avarana Shakti finish? What is it that will destroy the Avarana Shakti? Is the topic. So if you understand what is it that destroys the bondage, yeah. then you know very clearly what is the cause of liberation? Because bondage, liberation means freedom from bondage. Destruction of bondage is freedom, is liberation. So that is it. All that you now require to know is what is the bondage? Avarana Shakti. Yeah. What removes the Avarana Shakti? Will be the your your cause Nyan. of liberation. Nyan. Uh, that we will see. Uh, we are not see. That we will see. Dvividham api avaranam tatvasyanena vinashyam. Vinashyam means yogyam. Nashayitum yogyam. With that, which is, which has the capacity to be destroyed by, by tatvajnanam, by knowledge. And what knowledge is this? Chemistry, physics, economics? No, the knowledge of uh, reality. Both of these can get destroyed. How, sir? We will see it, but we will see it when? On Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow also not we have tomorrow. class. Today is Friday, right? Uh, Monday. Yeah, not. On Monday. Yeah, we enough Monday. for today. Okay. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam 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 Shankaram Shankarajani Keshavam Bhadarayam Sutra Bhashidam Bande Bhagavanta Bhutapuna Ishvaro Muratmeti Murti Veda Vipagine Vyoma Vadvyap to the Haya Dakshina Taye Namaha Mahadev. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Swamiji, I have written a question. Can I read it out for you or you are able to see? Mm -hmm. uh, I have written, can we differentiate? I don't know if it is the correct time to ask right now or I should wait, but I'm just going to read it out. Can mm -hmm. we differentiate between samsara and jagat? Very uh, much. Jagat, which is Ishwara Shrishti, it comes from Brahma, dissolves back in it. Is this correct to say? But the samsara, which is relationships, labels, I and mind that we create in our own head, is this different from jagat? Yeah, for now you can understand that there are these two worlds. The mm -hmm. world which Ishwara has created and the world which our imagination has created. 
and discover mm -hmm. where in which world are you living and which world gives you torture. Find out which world gives you torture. The samsara. You have contemplated on it. Hmm? Because Jagat Ishwara Shrishti never gives us torture. It's only we In create fact, torture for ourselves. So then, so then, Swamiji, when we say Jagat Mithya, um, because it's samsara which is mithya, jagat, how does it become mithya when sarvakhal vidam brahman? And if ja that same jagat gives me that path to reach paramatma, then how that same jagat could be mithya? What is wrong in it, it, it being mithya? Because it is a definite path. That so let it be a definite me. path. So what? Paramatma is Satyam. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have this difficulty in understanding difference between samsara and jagata. That all what right. is We will mitya? discuss this. We will discuss this. Maybe mm -hmm. in our next class. I will deal with this. Okay? Ji, Swamiji. And also I have one request. I had put it in the last uh, session. That mm -hmm. later on, whenever you feel is the right time, mm -hmm. can you give us um, a brief, definite structure where during the Lagu Vasudev Mananam, I can do that upasana of um, what you mentioned, Vyashti and um, uh, Samashti, uh, Karana, uh, and then uh, Sthula and Sukshma uh, with visualizations. All right, we will do that. But, you know, I can visualize my own way, but when you give a definite structure, I will follow your uh, method of visualization. Okay. Follow Pasana. Okay. Gee. Thank Maybe you very we'll, much. Uh, we'll have one meditation session for this. There you go. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.